Hello and welcome. Let's take one more case in basics of normal distribution. And the case is mean or mu is 21.5, standard deviation or small sigma is 2.5. And we need to find out the probability of 22 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 28. In simple words, what is the probability that x takes values between 22 to 20? Eight. Okay, so the lower limit is 22, upper limit is 28. Let's first find out the Z score. And we know that the formula to calculate Z score is X minus mu divided by small sigma. That is X minus mean divided by standard deviation. Okay, so the first value of Z will be for first value of X taking 22. So it will be 22 minus 21.5 divided by 2.5. So it is 0.5 positive divided by 2.5. So the first value of Z or first Z score comes to positive 0.2. That means X is 0.2 times of standard deviation greater than the mean of the data. Now let's take x equals to 28 that means if x takes value exactly 28 the z score will be now 28 minus 21.5 divided by 2.5 what is the value of z square it will be positive 6.5 divided by 2.5 positive 6.5 divided by 2.5 positive 6.5 divided by 2.5 what is the value yes 2.5 into 2 means 5 so it comes to 2.6 again it is positive z1 is positive 0.2 z2 is positive 2.6 what is the interpretation of this z score positive 2.6 the value of variable x Rather, if the variable takes value 28, that value is 2.6 times of the standard deviation greater than the value of mean. Mean is 21.5 and x takes value 28. The difference between these two is 6.5 and that is 2.6 times of the standard deviation. Standard deviation is 2.5. If we multiply the standard deviation 2.5 by 2.6, it will be 6.5. So the difference between value of the variable and mean is 2.6 standard deviation or 2.6 times of the standard deviation. That means the variable or rather the value which the variable takes is 2.6 times of standard deviation greater than the mean. Why greater? Because the z-score is positive. If the z-score is positive, the value of the variable is greater than the mean. If z-score is negative, the value taken by the variable is less than the mean. That is the interpretation of z-score. So z-score means z number of times of the standard deviation the actual value of the variable is greater than or less than the mean. Now let's draw the sketch of normal curve. Yes, exactly in the center. The value of variable exactly equal to the mean. So the variable will take value 21.5. And the left hand side part shows where the variable takes value less than mean and the right hand side part shows where the variable takes value greater than mean. Both these values are greater than mean. So both the values fall on the right hand side region. So x is 22 here and x is 28 somewhere here. And we are interested in this much area. Because within this area, all the values of x are between 22 and 28. But the main thing is, the area can be found between the 
सेंटर पॉइंट एंड द पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट हियर द जेड इज जीरो हियर जेड इज पॉइंट टू एंड हियर जेड इज टू पॉइंट सिक्स सो इन द टेबल्स रेडीली अवेलेबल इन द रेफरेंस बुक्स इन द मार्केट इन द फॉर्म्स ऑफ बुकलेट the area shown is always between z0 and z something now this much area cannot be found directly from that kind of table showing the area under the normal curves then what to do the simple logic is greater the difference between greater area and smaller area is the area of interest we can find out this much area directly from the table and we can find out this much area directly from the table this area is nothing but it is the difference of these two areas if from this much area we subtract this area the balance will be the area of our interest now let's take the table you can also take the table from the available sources the tables are available online also there are two kinds of tables showing the total area under the curve and showing the area of half of the curve it is very easy to use the second types of tables but nowadays somehow because of some reason the tables of first kind are becoming more and more popular specifically in the reference books etc the first types of tables are easily available but personally i prefer the second kind of table which shows the area or under half of the curve because it is very easy to understand particularly for the students who are beginners okay now i have that kind of table and let's see what is the area between z0 and z2.6 find out z2.6 there is nothing after 6 so we can take it as 2.60 2.60 the area comes to 0.4953 so this much area is 0.4953 now let's find out this area the area between z0 and z.2.2 means 0.20 0.20 the area comes to 0.0793 probability of 22 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 28 is nothing it is the area rather greater area 0.4953 minus the area of this part in which we are not interested 0.0793 so ultimately it comes to 0.4160 the probability of 22 less than or equal to x or the probability that variable x takes value between 10 to 2 and 28 comes to 0.416 if we multiply this by 100 that will be the percentage that means there are 41.6% chances that the variable x takes value between 22 and 28 or 41.6% of the values of very uh, values of the variable x are between 22 and 28 inclusive both that's it thank you very much